Hi, welcome back to Air Ridge and Research. Today will just be a short video to let you know what I worked on today. Um, I worked on the four cylinders that you can see in the upper right side and the drive shaft rotator module. I found that my design looked like it needed to have something that I can use to adjust the rotator inside the ring. I don't think I can make it tight enough without having some sort of adjustment. So in this next picture, this is the new design. I'm going to cut an access hole or mill an access hole into the side plate on both sides of the bearings and notch the half inch hole on the bottom so that the bearing can be adjusted inside the ring once it's there. I'll have to drill a, a hole through the end of it and tap it and put an adjusting screw with a lock nut on it so that it will be permanent. And you can see in this next one how the uh, notched out end is with the adjusting screw. And I think that'll be fine. I, I was able to get everything put together and tried it temporarily with this piece that I had already made from one time before. It's not exactly the same as it will be, but it gives you the idea of how it will be adjusted inside the, inside the ring once it's put together. Uh, I still have to make three more of the rotator uh, assemblies. Well, actually, I have to make all four of them. This was just a temporary one. And I've still got to make three more of the head valve head modules. And once I get that done, I'm hoping to be able to put one complete uh, module together and check out the distance from the crankshaft to the uh, valve head shaft and the bar that will be used to adjust the valve timing. But all that will come as I work on getting all the parts put together one time. For now, that's going to be it for today. I just wanted to give you a short update. 